Now, the problems involving spherical vessels are actually grouped so that I will be able to discuss these two examples. And so for the first one, the wall thickness of a 1.5 feet diameter spherical tank is 3 over 16 in chest. And then we have to calculate the maximum allowable internal pressure if the stress is limited to 6,000 psi. Now recall that in spherical shells, we only have this formula because we don't have a longitudinal axis. And so we will just use PD over 40 from our derived equation. And so let's identify our given. The stress is 6,000 psi. And so that will be our circumferential or tangential stress. And then our thickness is 3 over 16. And then our diameter is 1.5 feet. Now this is actually our diameter and this is our thickness. And then what we have to solve is the maximum allowable internal pressure. So our P is unknown. So we have PD over 40. This will be 6,000 LB per inch squared is equal to our internal pressure multiplied by the diameter which is 1.5 feet divided by 4 times the thickness which is 3 over 16. Now notice that in all of our units, we have inches. However, this is still feet and so we need to convert this. Now we know that 1 feet is equal to 12 inches. Again, what we are doing here is we are making our units consistent so that our value of P will be in PSI. Now this unit will cancel and also inches and so our unit for P will be pounds per square inch or PSI. And so solving P we have 6,000 times 4 times 3 over 16 divided by 1.5 times 12 that will give us 250. So P equals 250 PSI. So this is our answer. Now for our next problem, this is actually the item in our exam which most students failed to answer. Now some students got the thickness wrong while others used 2T right here instead of 4T. Again, in spherical vessels, this is our only stress because we don't have a longitudinal axis and so we only have a circumferential or tangential stress. But the formula is PD over 4T. Now in this problem, we are not given the thickness. We are only given the outer diameter and the inner diameter. And so if you are to draw this one, this part right here, this determines the thickness. And so if you are to draw the top view of this shaded part, we have this figure. We actually have concentric circles. And so we will now label this figure. Now first, the outer diameter is measured from this point up to this point. So this is our outer diameter, which is 70 inches. And then our inner diameter is from this point up to this point. So that will be 67 inches. So this is 67 inches. Now notice that this is our thickness and also this one. And so if you are to solve the thickness, we have the inner diameter, which is 67 plus 2t, because we have 2, is equal to the outer diameter, which is 70. And so when we will solve t, we have 2t is equal to 70 minus 67, and then divided by 2, so that this will cancel. So our thickness will be 70 minus 67 will give us 3, divided by 2, we have 1.5 inches. And so this is what we are going to use. Now most students got this wrong because when solving for thickness, they only subtracted 67 from 70 which is wrong because the distance that you will get is the total of these but that's not the thickness and so the next question will be what diameter are we going to use now recall that in the derivation of our formulas we are actually using the inner diameter now this is discussed in the very first video and so here our internal pressure is 1200 psi which is caused by the helium. And then when we will compute the stress in the shell, we will just use stress is equal to PD divided by 40. And so we have our internal pressure is 1200 pounds per square inch multiplied by D, which is the inner diameter. So this is 67 inches divided by four times the thickness, which is 1.5 inches. And so this will cancel. And then solving the stress, we have 1200 times 67 divided by four times 1.5 that will give us 13,400 and then this is PSI. So this is our stress.